I have an interest, it is the manifesto of Jubilee, number one. Number two, apart from roads and electricity, the second, the third largest enabler of our development proposal in our manifesto and in the big four is water. Whether you are looking at health, a major component of health challenges comes from water that is unfit for human consumption, people who consume dirty water with waterborne diseases and many of the other things. Therefore, the provision of clean drinking water is a major component that will cause us to succeed in our big four. And secondly, the matter of um, food security, a huge component of our target for the large dams we are focused on constructing is because of matters to do with irrigation. So I want to settle my interest in the construction of the dams in that manner. And of course, you cannot discuss dams in, 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 a, in absolute. That is the reason why I follow numbers. And as Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, I would be reckless and I would have failed in my job if I didn't pay attention to numbers. So the question that I am being asked is actually like a hyena asking a herdsman, what is your interest in your herd? And why do you know the number of the livestock you are keeping? <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> why wouldn't a herdsman have an interest in the herd he's keeping and the number? Number two, let me also say the following. Another issue that uh, was raised, and uh, you will forgive me, uh, uh, whoever is moderating, Bwana Speaker, you know, as a, although you moderate debate, there is a principle called right of reply sometimes. <laughs> and it's just a fair democratic uh, principle. Now, uh, there is also the whole uh, mix of uh, this man stole this, that man stole the other, and that kind of thing. Now, Kenya Maneno, and we are a very interesting people, because in the last election, you said your competitors stole the euro bond. Now you are accusing the person you perceive to be your future competitor as stealing money from dams. And if you are asked, Sasa Mkubwa, he evidence uta peleka karura ama pale ESCC. Unasema apana? Mimi nilipigiwa, najua nyinyi niwezi kwa sababu nilipigiwa simu na baba mtakatifu. And I was called by the Pope. Really? Wewe ulipigiwa simu na Pope? Kweli? Ah, Kenya. It only happens in Kenya. Some of these propagandists are so notorious and brazenly incorrigible that sometimes they cannot even remember the last lie they told. This is the unfortunate and reckless politicization of the war on graft. And you, who are engaged in this charade, are the biggest single threat to the fight against corruption. And in fact, you are the ugly face of impunity. Known political frauds whose word means nothing, neither have the legitimacy nor integrity to lecture anyone 
on matters corruption or integrity. I dare say. I think let us uh, leave it square like that. We must fight the war against corruption. Yes. And we must fight it using the correct tools so that we can succeed. Because that's the only chance we have to succeed in fighting the war 